Join us as we imagine a world of optimism and possibility in leagues of adventure. Good afternoon, folks. It's Robin here from Triple H Games, and uh, we've got um, I've got my friends um, Eli, Ivan, and our fantastic games master Anthony, and we're going live with session three of our adventure that we're playing in leagues of adventure. Thanks, Ivan, for sharing that, and. Uh, uh, you join us in the midst of, of the action, and I'm going to hand over to Eloy now, who's going to take us through the notes from last session so that we can get cracking into the next adventure. Okay, over to you then, Eloy. All right, so uh, our crew of intrepid adventurers is making their way to South America, where we are looking for a plateau where dinosaurs uh, apparently roam. Um, we have the skyship, the Epiphany, and uh, we have managed to procure uh, financing for our expedition from the Hunters Club, the Epicurean Society, and the Travelers Club. Uh, but we have learned that we have rivals at the Royal Geographical uh, Society, and they have sent rival expeditions after hours. And so in the last episode, we basically recruited a crew um after almost getting into fights with most of these we managed to turn the fights into recruiting opportunities we recruited flynn the pugilist we recruited um a, a french chef by the name of jean claude uh, from the epicurean society um one of the hunters from the hunters club is edmund burke and his retinue they came aboard ship we have a photographer, uh, a lady uh, named Ann Smith, and uh, Lawrence, Ivan's character, has procured his own personal chronicler, a man by the name of Percy. Um, we uh, set course for Belém, Brazil, and set off on this transatlantic voyage on the Epiphany, which is a skyship. It's painted with anti-gravity paint. And uh, we set off, but we encountered en route a Zeppelin from what we have taken to be our rivals from the Royal Geographical Society. The Zeppelin had a uh, quadruplane, I think it was like a biplane, but with four wings. Um, and we had a tense little moment there where we risked, you know, throttling the engines to, to uh, you know, maximum power, and we managed to fly over them and uh, arrived first at Belém, Brazil, which is on the coast, uh, where we were met by a local representative of the Royal Geographical Society, John uh, St. John Smith, Smythe, um, and we were discussing matters with him regarding, you know, the survivors from the previous expedition and what information he could give us to to get to the plateau when suddenly a uh, dart to the neck uh, uh, struck Mr. Smythe dead. And on that note, I believe we ended it. I'm probably missing a lot of details, but this is what I have in my notes, so. <laughs> well, we don't know that he's dead. He just looks sort of tired well, Yeah. He <laughs> did, did not say, oh my, or something to that effect. This is the it's, Amazon jungle is the birthplace of Kurare, so I'm pretty sure he's dead, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> One never knows. Now we'll see the difference between our optimists and our pessimists. He's dead. Well, he could be alive. <laughs> he did stiffen, and he, and he said, oh, my, and he keeled over <laughs> backward to be caught by Lawrence. Right, sagging in his in his limp and humidity laced suit, he sags against you. He could be unconscious, or he could be deceased. And of course, all around you, chaos explodes. Right, mm -hmm. Jean Claude uh, calls out in his heavy, thick French accent. He expostulates to the sky some incomprehensible uh, words of shock and fear. Our big game hunter. Yes, Eloy. No, I was just going to say, uh, uh, 
uh, George screams out to Tanvir, uh, uh, see if you can find out who fired this dart. And I rush over to examine uh, Mr. Smythe, because I do have uh, some skill at medicine, trying to okay. you know, determine if I can do something for him. All right, so as you move in, there are lots of people on the, on the rail, the, the retinue of Edmund Burke, the hunter, they're pointing into the, into the shrubbery. It's obvious that the dart didn't come from the beach. But there's, there's no sign of anyone with any kind of blowgun or, or projectile weapon or anything along those lines on the beach. So they're looking into the tree line and pointing in various places and Tanvir goes to join them. But let's leap into the action and see what medical aid you can lend the poor stricken Susan Smythe. Mm -hmm. uh, can I uh, assist as well? Because I have a medicine... Yeah. Okay, so I kind of unceremoniously drop, <laughs> drop him. Once, once I see the help is coming. Or you can lower him down gently. Well, then... I lowered him down gently, but I'm like, okay, good, good. You, got, you got him? Yeah. All right, so without any medical gear, we're restricted to first aid kinds of, of treatments, mm -hmm. but uh, let's see what we can do to help him out. <clears throat> so I can roll... Uh, six dice because I have four uh, rating plus two from uh, Oscar. Two from Oscar. And that is a total of three, four successes actually. A little more. Oh, than the uh -huh. yes. scalpel, bandage. <laughs> <laughs> I have one very important question for, for George, and for Oscar. What are you doing with the dart? Uh, uh, I, I, we're going to remove it gingerly, very carefully, you know, grab it and, and remove it from his neck. Yeah. Not touching okay. any of the poisonous end of said dart. Okay. But then doing what with it? Well, I don't know whether it's something we can maybe identify where, you know, a tribe. Well, Maybe maybe there's some kind of identification that we can get from somebody. Their name. So I guess we'll set it. You mean like a famous on the, chemist? On the floor. I, I don't know. Maybe there's some. So yeah, and maybe I, I'm guessing there, there's like particular feathers that are at the end of the, the dart, and perhaps. Must. Yeah, perhaps perhaps some kind of uh, tribe would be identified from from using those feathers. That's what could there be. must be some anthropologist or or something that knows the culture, I'm sure. Certainly, well, uh, certainly not going to taste the poison for uh, you not, know. Not going to taste it. <laughs> not going to put it in your coat pocket for later. <laughs> no, no. Hmm, it's Karari. God, man, uh, just save the guy. I'm going to pick it up. All right. Okay. So having uh, procured four successes, you're able to commute uh, two of the lethal wounds to non-lethal wounds. But uh, I do want to let you know the, the required methodology that's going to have to happen uh, so that you can, <laughs> you can recant your Samaritan-like behavior if you so choose. Uh, lacking any other medical supplies, you are stuck, haha, -ha, sucking the poison out of the wound as though like a snake bite. Yeah, which is probably a really bad idea. Uh... Or you could bleed him, I suppose. I'll just slit his neck. I'm getting in the weeds here. Uh, you got any of that uh, carbolic? Uh, what, what kind of acid do you use? Carbolic, carbolic, carbolic soap. Acid, yeah. Yeah. Carbolic acid, yeah. <laughs> Put that on the wound. Uh, yeah, but I, I guess, you know, with my knowledge of, of medicine, I would hazard a guess, you know, how, how... I promise it won't kill you. Difficult it is. I guess I'll do the honorable thing and try to suck out the poison. I suppose. 
Uh, doesn't, sound, doesn't sound like a smart idea, but because it's contact poison. But um, the hubbub on the on the on the deck, right? They're they're giving you some room, but of course there are people who are peering down, and everyone around you is saying, you know, he's dead, he's dead. And, you know, how did it happen? And, you know, heart attack. You guys were close. You were in conversation with him, so you saw the dart appear. Mm-hmm. So, um, as a military man, you're no stranger to injury, you're no stranger to blood, right? Um, at this point, I want to remember, because I keep forgetting, I was remiss in uh, a lot of your uh, hijinks in the last episode in providing style for George in <laughs> his... Is <laughs> kind of daredevil nature. So you're starting out with two more style in your pool than than you currently have. Excellent. Excellent. And I don't want you to attach undue attention to the game master giving you style at a moment where you're going to do something involving contact poison. <laughs> don't read anything into it. <laughs> it's all going to be fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh... All right, so you're going to suck the poison out. I guess, you know, I, I don't really know what the exact procedure is for contact poison, but... I'm uh, slapping him on the back. Good show, old boy. I grabbed a <laughs> we're going I'll, with, I'll try to see if I can tell you how poisonous this really is. We're going with that, so... <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna grab a scrap of a bandage and just mop his brow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bead of sweat appears... <laughs> yes, please don't try this at home, kids. Events in the game have nothing to do with real science <laughs> or medicine. <laughs> you can get further from, from real science. <laughs> okay. So this has enabled you. This bravery um, and uh, this quick thinking action, this right action, has enabled you to save Sinjin's mind's life, whereas he was at death's door. This is not without some personal cost to George, mm -hmm. who needs to make a body roll versus four. Yeesh. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I... He tricked you. <laughs> we'll spend those two styles that we just acquired just in case. Uh, and 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 the body rolls is, is twice body, correct? Yes. Twice your yep. body. So I'm rolling six dice again. Eesh. I barely squeezed by uh, with four successes last time. Do I want to spend a third style point? Uh, How stylish do you want to be? Uh, the, the daredevil, the, you know, fearless George will spend another style point. <laughs> Here we go. That's what? Seven dice. Seven dice versus. Come on, come on. One, two, three. Come on, come on. Four. Oh, jeez. Four successes. All right. <laughs> All right. Just successes. Just. So you can feel your mouth going numb and are able to spit it out. But for the next little while, for an indeterminate period, any social roles involving verbal communication will be <laughs> impeded. Is it a bit like when you go to the dentist and you start <laughs> <It's not laughs> dribbling? I think it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines, yeah. but still with dignity, you know, because yeah. you're a military man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, like lightheadedness, a uh, uh, sense of distortion uh, with your senses, time lag, This, these symptoms pass quickly. You got poison out of him and out of your mouth before, uh, before it was too late. But it is a very fast acting poison. And uh, of course, it's a testament to your character that uh, you were able to resist where this man was laid out by a mere by a mere prick. 
Excellent. Okay, so you were going down below to test the dart. Yeah, Percy, come on, let's go let's see where the real action is. <laughs> Percy is clearly <laughs> torn. <laughs> this, this moment, you know, George in his military uniform wiping the blood from his face. <laughs> Good luck. Does Tanvir find the, the, the guy we got? Oh, him? yes. Somebody's got to play in, Tanvir, too. Yeah. <laughs> Tanvir's in discussion with... Uh, Burke, they're both, you know, leaning ah, against the railing exactly. and they're both pointing at, uh, pointing at the tree line and they're starting to agree. Um, and, uh, Burke's, uh, Batman shows up and presents him with his very long leather bag, which can only contain some kind of horrifyingly large, uh, rifle. rifle. Yeah. You know, Burke is just standing there with his hand out to the side, not even looking at it. And the guy's, you know, unzipping the bag and and uh, racking around and and uh, passing it over. Nice, Lawrence. What does Lawrence find with a dart? Lawrence. Yes, I'm examining it below. Ah, do it. Alrighty, that's correct. So Alpha uh, and Beta are wandering around and. Delta standing in the corner, recharging. Yeah, bring me those pages, <laughs> would you, uh, would you, Gamma? <laughs> or beta? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. What do I got here? I think it's just, uh, These yeah. These reagents, sir? Yes, yes, that one, that one. Right. Not the green one, the red one. They're moving pretty slowly. Yeah. <laughs> and have, having a little trouble with green and the red, and then, you know, grabs the, then grabs the, the red one. Grabbing the correct one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I imagine sort of filters kind of sh coming down on, on their sort of <laughs> mechanical <laughs> eye. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I should have paid more attention in class. And, oh, I get three. Yes. Three out of four. All right, then. Well. <laughs> triple H and those are those ones are particularly suited for any biological query because they've got leaves on them that's correct that's exactly right <clears throat> so this is a biological so it's not a not a purely chemical based substance it is a organic substance and um, what else would you like to know about it Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I can determine. Well, I don't know, method of action or what, what kind of poison it would be. Hmm. Based on observation, a very fast acting. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. And the dart itself is not terribly large. Um. So there's some physics that could be worked out about how far away this projectile could possibly go if one were a physicist. Mm. But it was able to puncture the skin, so it's accurate over that distance, able to penetrate the skin and caused, you saw the dart appear, you saw the man stiffen, speak, and fall over that quickly. <clears throat> Very virulent, fast acting. Compound, whatever it is. Right. What if I with with the uh, let's see. Well, biology. I, I'm trying to figure if I can determine what kind of animal this poison might be, or plant this poison might be derived from, or at least a basic idea. You certainly could, if you had a library of material to draw from. Damn it. But Batteries. it may be it may be something that has never been discovered before. Oh, I, I know. This is, this is a fantastic person. Are you getting this down? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, is it a wooden dart? Like, is it a primitive weapon or is it a it metallic object? It is indeed a, a wooden okay. dart. Wooden dart. Yeah. Okay. Almost like a splinter. Right. Gotcha. All right. Well, let's, let's stand up by the, by the, the, the blackboard. 
because you have to have a blackboard down there. So it's a, it's a very, very, you know, uh, ca careful calculation of how much, how much fluid you're going to put in the, these electrochemical batteries. Now, let's see. I've got, I've got science and biology. Now, if you're, if you've got a skill, one of those skills, do you, are you able to make untrained roles on the other sciences? Yes, in the that other is. sciences. Yes. That's yeah. right. Okay. Well, then that means that gives me, uh, that gives me three dice. Like, if you're, is it, I could, uh, I could do. Um, maybe the, the sort of my engineering skill could be applied to Ooh. working out the Physics. distance of, yep. you know, wh yeah. whereabouts it could have come from. Ah, uh, uh, sure. Quit, quit mapping his friend. Come over here. <laughs> okay. With his trajectory. Now, with that Percy's no, there. That's... Percy's there, writing. You know, his his brow furrowed in concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Now, just one thing, if it's an unskilled role, it's still like a, um, it's still negative two, right? Or it's not? I'm yes, not, it's yeah, still negative two. You, you, you can make the role with right. no negative two. You just don't have oh. any. Oh, so I, can treat like a, a, I can treat it like a zero level skill. Yes. Uh, okay. Excellent. Well, if you, if you can assist me here, Oscar, you know, let's see. What was that thing again with the cosine? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can apply it. Uh, before the decimal or after the decimal, uh, but if you do that, then you got to multiply by ten, uh, divide by thir thirty-six. Yes, uh, I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> I'm gonna need a horror check. There's, 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 there's that real life part of me right now, which is like wanting to cry. <laughs> but, <laughs> but okay, but this is important to me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a style to this, and so we're gonna learn. Ooh, gonna okay. This. this is important because I really want to know. You know, because if we can find this, if we can find this tribe, then we can find this thing, we can find this animal or plant or whatever it is. Uh, I, By the I'm way, gonna... George, you get a style point back for your for your uh, suck and spit routine. Yeah, that's good. So, and I, I, I would, I would in this case that Lawrence gets a, a style for the calling of the blackboard into action. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so genre, so genre on point that I, I think it gets a. <laughs> in this case, it's funny because uh, uh, George gets a style point because he didn't suck, but also did suck <laughs> at the same time. So. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. Oh, oh, that is unreal. Six successes on six dice. Whoa. And what was the odds on that? Like 1.7? Uh, yes, it's pretty. Yeah, I did the odds. I did. I did the study, and it, it's pretty low. But but I like to say they're, they're all on Triple H Games dice. Ooh, nice, shiny. I'd like to point out that that you're, that you're you're, despite the fact that that was completely incomprehensible, your your assistance dice came up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super. <clears throat> Hints that I can give you then, based on that extraordinary role, is that it seems very likely, very, very likely, that um, this is a local plant. This is a very fresh compound, and it will congeal. It's already congealing now, so it has to be has to be applied and used very quickly. Once congealed, it loses some of its special properties. And how far away do we think it could have been shot you know, based on these ballistic tests that we... Based on the ballistic test, well, Lord yeah. Thunder. The very closest tree, this overhanging, who knows what uh, variety of tree it is, certainly not me, um, it, it couldn't have been any farther than that. And whoever shot it, would likely have to have shimmied out onto, you know, one of the the branch, whatever branch could uh, support their weight to get as close as possible to the railing of the ship. Hmm. Highly excited, you know. I drop the chalk. I run up and exclaim to exclaim, exclaim to Edmund and and Zamper and like that. I start pointing in the same direction they're pointing. Right there. It had to have come from right around there. It couldn't have come from any farther. <laughs> Now they oh, are oh, pointing. Oh. They are pointing somewhere else. Oh, okay, well, I'm where, pointing, I'm where, where they? George has been privy to the whole conversation while his face has been going numb. You know, they're pointing to where a hunter should be mm. to make this kind of stealthy attack. 
uh, but doing so without any understanding of of the the realities of the situation. So, gentlemen, it could it could have come from there. It couldn't have come from any farther. Had to come from the plane. So, a perception roll, gentlemen, for those of you who are on deck and guy curious. Immediately go to where Lawrence is pointing. I don't know if it's if people remember, but any of your primary pools, any of your secondary pools, whatever, they can all be boosted by by style points. And uh, mm -hmm. four successes. Yes, on six dice. Three successes. Mm -hmm. right. Nice. The dice are. Uh, apologizing for the previous two sessions. <laughs> yes. yes, they are. The dice are yes, hot are. today. Of course, now we've pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uncharacteristically, what's he, you know, God give us and take us away for Triple H because now I've got one success on uh -oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appear yeah. to be outside. <laughs> yeah. That's a lovely tree. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, well, the rest of the, the other two of you, um, spot movement. Right, ah! Burke and Tanvir are still, you know, looking in the, the wrong direction. And uh, they, of course, have to turn around and look at Lawrence to see where he's pointing and then, you know, that kind of stuff. But Lawrence's sudden appearance maybe sparked a reaction in the tree. And you see that the particular branches mm -hmm. moving and maybe something uh, small and lithe scuttling along it. Can, can we get down there? Uh, I can't remember if the ship is still like high uh, up yeah. or... You're, you're not too high off of the beach and of course uh -huh. uh, the, the somewhat rotund Smythe was able to make it up here so we have our, mm. our, our, gang, our gangplank down to ah, the sands. Okay. Uh, but remember, it can't actually be that far away. So it's no. within the realm of human possibility to do a dive off of the railing Ooh. to grab a tree branch. Of course, it's also within the realm of human possibility to miss the tree branch and yeah. continue on down for uh, <laughs> high speed inspection of the beach. <clears throat> Meantime, I'm looking at person, notice they had to come from that tree, but notice the cordate shape of those leaves. It's quite remarkable. I don't see ever seen. <laughs> like that. We, have to, we, have to, we have to examine that tree afterwards. It may be where the poisons come from. And my God, I'm taking a sketchbook out. <laughs> what was that? You saw somebody? So I'm not going to risk the athletic move, despite it being quite tempting. I think I've tempted fate <laughs> enough for one day. Uh, oh, but I on. will, I will, I will, you know, yell out to Tanvir, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, let's go Tanvir, we'll, we'll get him. And I'll just try to run down the plank and, and try to, try, or I'll yell, you know, cover me or something with the, uh, you know, cause, cause all I have is like a knife. I don't think I'm even, carrying a revolver or anything right now. Right, it'd be kind of weird just walking yeah. around on that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, probably have the knife though, so. All right. Okay, so this. You know what, no be... knife. I'm, I'm gonna go full pulp, nothing. I'm just gonna yeah. dart <laughs> off after him. Yeah. Just because. Okay. I'd like a move roll for whoever's moving. move but did you say it was possible maybe to get to that tree by jumping swinging uh oh here we go it's possible yeah so we've got the, the bellow out for cover me we've got george shooting down the gangplank we've got tanvir tapping burke and coordinating right here and burke will will cover you from the from the front of the the vessel But whoever's yeah. in the tree has a head start getting into the underbrush, right? So, oh, so they, if somebody swung to the tree, they probably would still be far behind him, huh? There's no way to swing to the ground. Probably hurt yourself. 
There's all kinds of ways to get down to the ground. Gravity will see to that. <laughs> safely, man. Safely. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that. Like, I'll do that. Or you could leap out into the space and, and grab the tree. I'll do that. It would certainly be worth some style. I would give you two style for such an action. Ooh, I, will, I will do that. I will do that. Yes. Uh, I, I would spend uh, if you do immediately. <laughs> Just yet. <laughs> I will spend immediately. I'm gonna spend, All right. I'm going to spend three style on that. Spend thrift. Go for it. Yeah, I'll do that. If you have athletics, do that. If you don't, then it's purely strength i do have athletics i do not know if acrobatics would, would synergize with that or not Ooh. sure it would damn straight it would okay good i'm rolling a lot of dice Thank do God. that roll a lot of dice make it happen now the future of your company's dice sales rests upon this roll <laughs> <laughs> Just remember last week we rolled 10 dice and got only three successes uh-oh it's not good it's not good he's either in shock say, or he's yeah. counting <laughs> Well, I'm not screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said one, two. <laughs> Tell me I'm screwed. He may have to cancel that order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as it's funny. It's funny. It's, it's funny. I, so I rolled 12 dice, okay? I rolled, okay. I spent three style. I had a skill of seven. I rolled two more. I rolled two successes on 12 dice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth two well, thousand. Are doing that? <laughs> just tell me, did, did those successes come from yes. the, the style points, or just? Uh, one came from a style point. I got, okay, I got so if you didn't, Hulu and I've got a Leagues of Gothic. So if you I, if you didn't have the style, you'd only have I'm one success. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Wow. Well, you didn't fail. It just didn't look pretty. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a complete and total success. All right. So, I would like you to imagine hurling yourself off the railing of the ship, and the ship, the top railing, top deck of the ship, is a good 40, 50 feet off the ground. For once, it's a dog, and it's not mine. Rosie! <laughs> Calm down. Into space. And there's this huge branch that you're aiming for. But you're going to fall short. But that's okay, because there's another branch right under that one. But you're a little bit off to the left. And there's another pair of branches, kind of a crossing of branches, and those are the ones that you hit. And you wind up <laughs> with these boughs flexing and, and snapping back up, coming within two feet of the ground before being lofted back up again. Not thrown up into the air, but you know, just buoyed into uh, a gradual and gentle, very natural deceleration. Excuse but, me. Yes. <laughs> Too non lethal. Any, any landing that you can walk Wait, away from is a good landing. So, you know. Okay, two non lethal and, wounds. And I, I, I didn't mention the biology, inadvertent biology joke yeah. earlier with a robot not being able to tell the red from the green <laughs> compound. So we should <laughs> name that robot Dalton. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> right. I will. Uh, I now, will. From, the, from the tree, you're going to spend, spend two style to get rid of the. I'm going to get one of them, yeah. Good enough. So as you're, you know, as the, the wind is partially knocked from you, and you know, as, as the the branches are, are making their uh, the reactionary upswing, you get to see a small, definitely human figure, but 
or humanoid figure wrapped in or possibly with skin of reptilian scale. Excellent. And this, this small, smaller than you person, a little bit bigger than a child, is leaping from one branch into obscurement behind the trunk of the tree to head deeper into the undergrowth. You're able to see this because you're inside the canopy of, of big green, I've never seen these before, leaves. Right. Very coordinated. Thing. And as you say there's one or two people? One, what? Person. one person, okay. Possibly a person, possibly a reptilian humanoid. Right, excellent. Either way, it's a, it's a plus. You know, and only having my notebook on my person, you know, I mean, the branch bashed that has saved me from, from even get this, sustaining even more wounds. Yes. Thanks, thanks to Two Style. Because you always have a yes. biologist, always has to have a field notebook with it. <laughs> so I roll a two on my move, just, just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is an opposed roll. I'm not going to tell you what, what they yeah. have gotten. Uh, but that's enough to get down the gangplank in a couple of, of crazy bounds and uh, into the softer uh, earth of the beach, which slows George down somewhat. And But from that vantage point, uh, <laughs> he can see the near-death experience of Lawrence <laughs> and see that uh, the jungle terrain isn't impassable, but it's, it's thick enough here at the edge of the beach that it may soon become um, quite an obstacle or barrier to, to fast movement, you know, vines and creepers and, and uh, uneven terrain. And, and the, the roots of the tree, you know, are, are raised up a, a substantial amount up out of the, the soil with lots of moss and other, you know, kudzu and, and things growing in, in it. So, um, And uh, do I do I catch a glimpse of the of the uh, assassin? No, uh, no. Mm. So all I have is a general direction. Uh, you so know, yell out, you saw the movement in the in the right tree. Yeah, and yeah. now Lawrence is <laughs> is in that tree. So I I start moving in that direction. Then Lawrence, do you see him? And I'm yes. looking, he looking that way. He that into way. the trying to follow in his direction then. All right. What's happening up on the deck with the Os with Oscar? I'm going to um, uh, I'm going to go down and fetch my crossbow. I suddenly feel a bit uh, exposed on deck. <laughs> so, All right. But I don't think I'm going to go charging into the undergrowth. It's not really my style. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, Breaking through the tree line, I'd like another mm -hmm. perception check. This one, we're, we're actually just listening to see if we can follow the trail and if, if we can hear anything over the our own gasping for air. <laughs> I have the average of three. Nice. Luck. See if three successes. Oh, now I, now I get half the three successes. Before. Good. But remember, it's a poor workman who, who blames their tools. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're able to pursue, and it's not too much of a jump down out of the, the tree from, from where you are, George. Uh, I want to describe George running as thundering. Would you agree, player of George? Yes, he's a burly guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to soon lose sight of Burke and Tanvir mm. up on the top deck. Uh, and so, you know, distantly you can hear Burke calling orders for his crew to, uh, to get to count down the gangplank and, uh, and start beating the brush. Uh, yeah. The, as you go charging in, how about Lawrence? I'm, I'm charging in. I'm charging in. I'm gonna go. Yeah, with I'm, I'm. I'm sure we can catch him in the next few minutes. So I'll. I'll just 
overconfidently charge into the. I'm <laughs> whipping off my ascot because I've dressed yeah. ceremoniously for the landing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Percy's still up. You know, he's scribbling furiously. And, uh, and Anne has taken a picture of a tree. <laughs> That's, that's, that's all maybe, she to get. She has a picture of, of Lawrence hanging from the tree branch. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to anybody. But this heroic moment. Okay. Uh, another movement roll, please. Hmm. I move myself. Two. Two. Oh, oh dear. Running at the top, at my top speed. Oh, my goodness. Three. Three. Must be very exciting. Okay. So just ahead of you, you know, is this, this crashing sound. You have, of course, longer legs. They are smaller and passage is, is uh, somewhat easier for them. But you can see, you know, the, the movement in the, in the jungle ahead of you, if you have plants whipping back and forth. Uh, because of the passage, they must be just ahead of you. You can hear them, uh, mostly the passage of their body through the leaves is the sound you're hearing. You're not hearing panting or, you know, mm -hmm. thudding footsteps on hard earth because there isn't any hard earth, but you are hearing the passage of, of you know, something physical and hard through uh, these, you know, flat leaves and through vines and, and whatnot and see the physical passage of, broken flowers and whatnot. So this person or whatever it is, is certainly going as fast as they can to get away. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll muscle our way through. I think, uh, you know, no machetes or anything. So I'll just, you know, try to force my way through the jungle because I think I'm right on top of them. So I, I, I'm going to try. Okay. I'm, I, I, we'll almost have him. We'll, 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 don't let him get away, Lawrence. We're almost, we're on top of him. All right, I'm gasping. Give me my all. Also, like, just being torn, being fascinated by everything. I'm, I'm passing <laughs> every single plant <laughs> and, and insect. Right. Now it's just a treasure trove, but we must get Now, him. would you like to, you know, try and coordinate your, your pursuit and, you know, Pass on assistance dice to one of one of you for a move roll, yeah. or would you like to? That sounds good. You yeah. you go you go left, Lawrence. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll pin him between All right. us. All right. Uh, start <laughs> zipping off left. Clearly assisting. All right. George. You're gonna do the assisting. Okay. I'm gonna do the assistant. Our our winded uh, laboratory researcher. Mm -hmm. I'm a chemist, not a marathon. No, he's he's <laughs> an adventurer. He's awesome. Yeah. All right, so another movement roll with assistance, right? Yep, with assistance. Come on, here we go. Ooh, two. Ooh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five successes. Ooh, clearly, I'm making yep. as much noise as I can to try to fake them out. Yeah, one of those, <laughs> the one, one of those successes is from assistance, so that's pretty cool. Cool. <laughs> now, from behind, Right from behind, you, you're hearing the sound of, of Burke's team of, of beaters and, and whatnot entering the, the brush. And, uh, but there are, there are ways off yet. And you guys move through uh, the brush. It's getting a lot damper, a lot quicker. The, the, the ground is, is sodden. You're all splashed with, with mud and moss and, and weird types of pollen. And, and, uh, and there's, you know, swarms, clouds of tiny insects everywhere. You know, they're crawling in your eyes. You feel them in your ears. They're all crawling through your hair. And you realize pretty quickly that you have passed your prey mm -hmm. and are able to quickly curl around and, and close in on their position. Where you find them trying to set what can only be a trap. It's a, a small rubbery ball with lots of sharp wooden projections coming out of it. And they're, they're digging it into the path behind them when you surprise them. So I'll rush him and try to subdue him. All right. 
Surprise number one. Not a him, it's a her. Oh. Surprise number two. It has a lizard face, teeth, but it's a mask. Ah, awesome. Awesome, awesome. So Initiative. Well, yes. Lawrence, you're there too. I am personally in. Oh, watch out for that! And I, I huh. too. I meant to uh, assist him in this. In this, what can only be a brawling effort. Just because. Right now we're just doing initiative. Oh, initiative! Yeah. Oh, initiative! That's correct. That's correct. Okay, initiative. Hmm. <laughs> five successes. That's very on good. Five yeah. dice. I got four. four on five dice. Yeah. Uh -huh. Triple H games dice. Uh, when you hot, you hot. <laughs> All right, so the, this this tiny woman, she's maybe maybe four feet tall, is obviously stopping in her attempt to you know bury this this trap for someone to step on and become poisoned by and is now converting her motion into throwing it at the l largest, loudest, brightest target, which is George. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what she is going to do, but you guys are going before her. Yeah. Oh, well. I, well, uh, Lawrence is actually first on the- Yeah. yeah on the He's the most first. I, I, my, my biggest thing is I'm gonna try to tackle her to at least not have that object hit my dear friend George. Trying to like, you know, whack her from the side, something to that effect. All so right. That is my that is my intent. You're gonna you're going to tackle. This yeah. is a brawl. This is a brawl. And because uh because I love George and he's my pal, I'm gonna oh, I got a brawl of three, that's great. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely use these two style right here to make sure that George does not die. <laughs> I'm roll five dice. Okay. Well, George, I got three. <laughs> I tried. I tried. You know. <laughs> three. It'll be tough to okay. resist this. Tough. That's tough. Right? All right. We can always sew it back on. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. So this is a little embarrassing. Right. So this. Large guy runs in to, to to charge this diminutive woman and she holds her ground, meeting his charge, blocking his momentum. She digs herself in, she's lower, right? She hits him right in the center of gravity. Her shoulder very close to the creative spark of life within the male, <laughs> but inflicting no damage. <laughs> And she's able to stop stop your attack. <laughs> and at this moment, I would like to cut back to the ship. Yes. All right, so Oscar is going to get his crossbow. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Which was what in his stateroom or hanging up in the <laughs> in the uh, on the bridge or what? Well, I would say it would be would have been part of his luggage. So in his room. Um, right. Yeah. So that's of course, that's where Proctor is. Yeah, Proctor. Is. I, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Gamble? Behind, behind, uh, behind one of the crates, and and he comes out. You crossbow it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something up on the deck. Are we being attacked? Are we under attack? Come now. Nothing to worry about, Proctor. <laughs> here you go, sir. Come now, sir. We're... Good, good, good luck. We need to move, uh, sir, and assist uh, our comrades in arms. Uh, come now, Proctor. What do you mean, you? Do you mean we have to go out into the jungle? But there, there are things in the jungle that that bite you and sting you and things. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, sir. But uh, nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, one must show uh, the proper valor in the face of uh, of uh, adversity. <laughs> Uh, come on, come on, come on, Proctor, get out of here! Fetch my, fetch my, uh, my, my hat and 
my my tough leather jacket. Uh, I expect I'll be needing that. Here, uh, sir. <laughs> a very okay. stubborn gamble wants to go now. <laughs> uh, right away, sir. You go right ahead. We'll be right behind you with the proper gear. Uh, yeah. So move along. Move along. Okay, I grab grab the crossbow. I'm 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 thinking of it as kind of like one of those, not not a massive one, like a a fairly small crossbow, with maybe a sort of a. A whole bunch of uh, bolts kind of stuck to a to a bar at the bottom of the thing, so it's quick to reload. Sure. Maybe some yeah. sort of scope, right? Because you're an investor. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, scope. Of, yeah. Scope on top. Yeah. yeah. Whether it actually works is another story. But yeah. Well, but, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the environment and the weather conditions, obviously. Parametric <laughs> pressure. <laughs> Because right, it has a mercury float in it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Style points for the hench persons. Yay. One each. Oscar, you have your crossbow. You have your hench people falling all over themselves to assist you. Your heavy leather jacket is, is uh, being pulled out, which orients you to looking out the porthole. Right. Just for a split second, there is a tiny reptilian foot using it as a brace to climb up the side of the ship. Just for a second, you see it. When the hench people turn around, it's just a beautiful day. Proctor, did in you? Berlin, Brazil. Did you? Did you? Did you see that, Proctor? See what? In the in the, in the porthole, there was there was What's in the porthole. There was a foot. Oh, come now, sir. No, no time to be distracted by the view. The portal is glass, or, or is it actually an open porthole? This is very important. It's a thick nautical porthole. Right, okay, good, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I swear, I saw something like a foot, and uh, you know, and then and then it was gone. I think we need to get up on deck. Well, you you need to get up on deck, and I, I'll follow you. <laughs> Just don't leave me here, sir. <laughs> By the way, uh, come on, Proctor. Let's let's see what this commotion is about while Sir gets ready to assist the rest of the expedition on the beach. Is there? Um, I'm guessing there's like um, on on this ship there might well be an alarm, a fire alarm or alarm system that maybe I can sort of raise the uh, raise the alarm, as it were, to to get people's attention, the crew's attention, or well, the that, captain's attention? That sounds like an excellent system that should be <laughs> a ship like this. <laughs> so let's check your expeditions skill to see if that came up during all the planning. Right. Okay. Let's do um, five dice. Oh, three successes. That's not too bad. Above there is it. indeed. Okay, so I'm going to pull the pull cord or, uh, you know, throw a switch, break the glass, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, right. I'll get Proctor to so break the see. glass. So let's see, what are the perils? We've got uh, imminent collision, uh, explosion. Anything else you'd like? Um, imminent attack. Imminent attack, like uh, uh, yeah. battle Order. station. Yeah. Battle, battle station. Order. Order. Yeah. Battle stations. Okay, so is that the one you go for? Yeah, battle stations. Battle stations. All right. <laughs> but, you know, down in the hold, Alpha, Beta, uh, Delta, and Gamma, you know, start cranking a little faster. <laughs> and uh, one of them turns to the other and says, Oh, dear. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a robot of few words. <laughs> <laughs> now, the big game hunter, Ed, uh, Edmund Burke, and his crew of lesser hunters, his, his hench people, his Batman, his, his, uh, his trailblazer, his tracker, and you know, all these uh, 
specialized people. They're all in the woods, right? They've, they've left. Tanvir Singh, having seen his, his dear friend crash off into the bushes, does he stay aboard or does he follow with Burke? Hmm. What makes the most sense for Singh? <clears throat> I don't know who you're, you was playing sing already. Oh, I you was. I was. You sure were. Yeah. Um, well, I think you probably uh, probably stay on the ship. <laughs> well, maybe he's gathering like like the knives and the hunting rifles and stuff like that, right? Because he's not going to rush off. Unlike George, he's not going to run off into the jungle yeah. unarmed. So he figures, you know, yeah. since George is unarmed, I got to get my gun and his gun, right? So that, that, that yeah, yeah, that's that's right. He 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 would be sort of planning to so, follow, follow up with with the. So the, if George dies, I can avenge him. Yeah, you know? <laughs> or, or, or you know, get, get the gear down to him, right? <laughs> Bring you know, I, I mean, it's not like he's loitering; he's running around to get the guns and the stuff. To right. him on what the should I do? George gun. George gun is much nicer. <laughs> yeah. All right. And all right, so you know, Tanvir's going to get his gear, and Oscar and Proctor and Gamble are coming uh, up toward the deck. And Jean Claude, the, the chef, he's he's wandering around, and he's got this long list of complaints that he's very upset about. You know, <laughs> you know, first it's too hot, and the cake is melting everywhere, and then second, you know, we're attacked, and then third, people are dying on the on the crosswalks, and they're spitting and sucking and blood and yelling and jumping off of the boat. I cannot work under these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> Slams the door. Of the <laughs> God, these French, oh. these Frenchmen are so so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> all right so george, george was just hiding someplace so it was just, yeah, just, just with the tea tray completely no idea what to do here <laughs> but george uh the very large adventurer lawrence you know meets the immovable object you know the unstoppable force meets the immovable object boom they collide mm -hmm. together oh. uh by the base of a tree she's still got this poisonous thing uh, in her hand, her her ability to throw it at you has now been been foiled. Mm -hmm. right. um, she can't you know, she can't possibly move her arm to throw anything while she's dealing with Lawrence. What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that she's a bit distracted by uh, L uh, Lawrence's uh, charge, and I'm going to move in and try to pin her down, to try to grapple and mo immobilize her. Right, and one hand on her. On her arm with the with the weapon, and and I guess the other I'll try to. Uh, sure. I don't know. Just, grab her. Yeah. This will be a touch attack. Okay. Uh, but it's a brawl. Uh, so yeah. So you'll roll as normal. Yeah. Six. Uh, and I. Th the situation probably calls for. A little bit of style, so I'm all right. You know, I'm, uh, circling around, and I'm just gonna rush her as quickly as possible. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how else to describe that. Here we go. All right. This is not a situation where overconfidence really applies. It's just a girl, but uh, <laughs> Lawrence, you you kind of get in trouble there uh, with your thrill-seeking nature. So uh, a, a style point goes your way. Four successes for the, the grapple attempt. All right. Um, you do indeed have a good hold on her. And from this point on, you'll be able to apply strength to do a variety of things. She'll, of course, will have to use her, uh, her strength and skill to get out of your hold, which is where her mm -hmm. focus will have to be, unless she mm -hmm. suddenly stops caring about uh, getting out of the hold and starts mm. uh, grappling back. Who knows okay. what could happen, right? Okay. Uh, Lawrence, that brings us back to you. So he's, he's got her grappled. So she's yep. immobilized, oh. right? So yeah. Yep. The only one thing to do. And how, does, how do you have her grappled exactly? I think I got one arm on on her wrist with the weapon, and I think the other goes to her to her throat. I suppose. Her neck. Or, or yeah. Or maybe to the other arm, right? Because I'm restraining her, so it's maybe to the other arm. 
So I just got her like, like. I'm not trying to get behind her and grab her from behind. Okay. Okay. My, would, uh, let's see. Do I spend this style on that, or do I just roll three dice? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Is there any bonus because she's partially held or no? Yes. Or, or that sure. her defense, her defense, Well, her defense is different. That's, uh, that's what I'm yeah. looking for. What What does immobilize mean? Other than the offense. defense. Right. Right. So, so, so there's no there's no movement possible unless she can get out of the the hold. Uh, defense options are limited, and and so on and so forth. Uh, so. Okay. That's all right. So then I'll roll these four dice here. So basically, her her attack action has been stolen by you until she can get out of the hold. All right, but you have the capacity to do things to her because of the hold. Only gets to use passive defense, right? Yeah. So two successes. I, I try to look very you know cool doing this thing because ah! I've I've watched people like, fight and grapple before. You know, I I think this is how you do it. <laughs> nice. You're trying to grab her. Oh. Just right. to help. Now, even using her passive defense, this is where Lawrence discovers something a little uncomfortable. As he grabs her from behind, he discovers she's wearing a little bit of armor, which is spiked. Just short little spikes. Ooh, okay. Down the spine, and you, sir, have been pricked for one lethal. Oh, that's awesome! It's a whole series of of dots through your shirt. So now, of course, under the into the jungle heat, it will quickly start to rot, and you'll be able to, you know, blow Anne's mind by standing there with your ripped shirt. <laughs> <laughs> With a rippling six pack. Too. <laughs> yeah. But for now, you've studied the compound that she's already used, and you have been pricked multiple times down the sternum, you know, down oh. to the abdomen. What yeah. does that mean for you? Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. I think the word bollocks comes into it right now. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that's all that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Quick, suck out the poison. More sucking. <laughs> I mean, I mean, say, oh, Jared, then look back up and make eye contact with George for that split second. <laughs> what is uh, George's strength? George has a strength of three. Okay. So she's struggling against uh, your hold. You know, you, you said you got both arms, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and he's a pretty big guy. So, you know, she's trying to get purchase on the ground to, to be able to pull away and half heartedly like, like kicking at a shin, but she's not able to, uh, to get the leverage she needs. Uh, especially because of you know, Lawrence holding her from behind, but then maybe staggering back a little bit to look down in horror at his perforated body. Um, what are you going to do? So I'm realizing that Lawrence is in a world of hurt here. So I need to take this woman out as quickly as possible. So what I want to do is seeing as I have her by the arms, lift her up, up from the ground so she can't get her to the ground and headbutt her with my fist, with my fist helmet. With your pith helmet versus her, her could, lizard mask. <laughs> if I could knock her out, right? So maybe, right. yeah. Go for it. So this is uh, brawl attack, right? Yep. So it's a six. And seeing how my buddy uh, is in danger, three, wait, hang on, do I have the, okay. And I will spend my last style point on, on this attack. Interestingly okay. enough, headbutting is not a specialization of brawl, which really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can, always, you can always discuss with your game master. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, can... we shall make it so, just for you, Ivan, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what 
would be really nice as if the pith helmet counted as a both a weapon. <laughs> but I guess zero is okay as well. Anything's an improvised weapon, isn't it? Oh, only three successes. Jeez, this is really bad. <laughs> three successes don't hit me. Oh, yeah. Three successes. Okay. So the two, you know, your pith helmet, mm -hmm. her uh, reptilian mask collide, and you see those pieces of equipment do their jobs. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. So nobody is. <laughs> but you're now like face to face for that for that instant, you know, bam, like, and you can see you know, the, the blazing eyes, and and they are like chips of obsidian. They are just reflecting the light and just blazing in fury. And you can hear the, the tight pant right through clenched teeth. And uh, maybe what is an expletive in, in her language is your, is your head smashed together, but she's looking at you with no friendliness, no fear, no backing down, right? And uh, it's, oh, if she could just, you know, reach in and pull out your heart, she yeah. would. <laughs> But right, back on the ship. Okay. So heading back up to the deck. Um, he's you actually... Past Canvira on the way down. <laughs> I, I, I grab him and say, we need, to get, we need to get on deck. I think we are being attacked. And the alarm starts going off right at the battle station's alarm. It takes a moment for it to grind into action, you know, like a big klaxon horn kind of thing. Ooh, air raid siren. And uh, we're being attacked. Ready? So he, he focuses in, in on you. Who wants to take Tanvir? Um, <coughs> Ivan, you run with him. All right. Yeah, because I'll have to play. I'll have to play Oscar. You want to talk to yourself. Yeah. And then I say to myself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, we, we, we'll get up onto the deck and see, well, if I see if I can find the, the body that's attached to the foot that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're, you're coordinating a search. Yeah. We need to search the All ship. Right. All right. Um, Alpha, Beta, well, is... you, check the, you check the lower decks. Uh, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll take the, the top decks and, uh, yeah, make our way around. Is, there, is the captain on the ship still? Sure. The captain has heard the, the klaxon and is rushing on his way to the bridge. Alpha and, and Beta seem to get the whole context of the intruder alarm and and just say, yes, sir. And they, they, they flex their, their claws uh, appreciatively and they separate to, to go down different gangplanks to begin their search. So Tam here is staying up with you. Okay, great. Yeah. All right. We can probably hear something. All right. Perception, gentlemen. Oh, I was hoping that we'd come to that. I know it's a dirty <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Uh, four successes. Woo I know that we are aboard a ship, and two. We're and one. In yeah, and we're Gamble. in the jungle. All right. So we've got Proctor and Gamble. We have Tanvir Singh. We have Oscar. Right, this is a, a, a pretty large group of people able to move around uh, the deck together. Are you moving as a coordinated group, or uh, are you going in opposite directions? I am picturing Gamble, like, with an arm walking right behind, I mean, Proctor walking right behind Gamble with an arm touching, but yeah. looking behind him, right? That's how he's like. <laughs> 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 but they don't get snuck up on, right? So, well, I, it, so. it seems it seems silly to have like six people going around <laughs> in a big group looking in the same spaces. So 
Let's. I, I, I forgot to. I forgot to roll for Proctor. Uh, <laughs> let's not bother. <laughs> let's not. This is why I think Proctor and Gamble are a unit, right? They're yeah. just walking as a yeah. unit, one direction, right? <laughs> so, so yeah. let, well, we'll split into into groups of two. So Proctor and Gamble can stick together. Uh, Oscar and uh, Tanvir go in another group. The captain and whoever, whoever's left. <laughs> That's it. Can go Are you in sure there. you saw something? I'm totally sore. I, 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 you know, I haven't had anything to drink. I, I totally saw something. We need to check it out. All right. Well, everybody managed to, to get successes. And I should, I should mention that uh, uh, Gamble is armed with an umbrella at this point. Yes. <laughs> of course, <Excellent>. of course. <laughs> On top of the flying bridge, right? There is a small figure. It is a human reptile hybrid. Large scales, fangs, right? Sunken eyes, claws, spines on its back, and it's holding a spear. Okay. A spear has a stone tip, and it's it's holding it up so the point is going down at its feet, and it throws its head back and makes this this ululating cry before stabbing the ship. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to fire my crossbow. <laughs> I don't like uh, I don't like uh, damage to the ship. I mean, I spent weeks putting this 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 hunk of junk back together. What the hell is that? Uh? Don't know. Fire, Oscar. Right. Ooh, we're getting digging out some dice. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, this is a bad time to talk. Tell, mention that I talked to you. I talked to you into like blowing an archery skill. <laughs> no, you don't need all that archery. Yeah, I. Mechanics roll. No, that's right. So, 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 so now I've only got uh, eight dice compared to, to nine. Eight dice is pretty good. Yeah. Um, however, <laughs> uh, <laughs> only two. Are you sure you're using those dice correctly? <laughs> I'm not qualified. I'm not qualified. Uh, yeah, not not so good, I'm afraid. Only um, two uh -oh. successes out of that. Lot. Two successes on eight dice. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, it's not a failure. However, no. uh, people wear armor for a reason, and you see your your crossbow bolt stick into uh, the scales of the reptilian creature, and that then becomes aware of you, it drops into uh, kind of a crouch still, one hand holding a spear, and it hisses. Just, you know. Tell me, don't just stand there, man. Get, get it. <laughs> Push. <laughs> uh, it's Andrew starts trying to run up to grab it with his, with his knife. You know, he pulls out his knife and starts running up to you know, get, where the, get where the creature is. All right. Creature pulls the spear out of the, the wood of the of the, the roof of the bridge, right? shakes it, and then runs off the other side. Do you pursue? Hell yeah! Of course, of course. Okay. Come on, Doug! Run as fast as you can. I shout out inspirationally. I'm inspired. Yeah, man. 
Okay, uh, Oscar, are you going around or are you going over? Around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Definitely around. So, as aspiring as Tanvir might be, uh, clearly he's not inspiring enough to make you go over the ship, and so uh, no bonus to your move. But uh, people split up, go around. When you get to the other side, Tanvir, you see that the, the, the creature has leapt from the bridge infrastructure into the rigging and scuttled down and standing on the railing and possibly is trying to assess a leap to the beach or a leap to the water. Hmm. Caught in a moment of indecision. It's Tanvir's turn. Oh, well. I guess I'm gonna try to climb down the rigging. Not a very guy. I look at the dagger like I'm about to throw it like, it's not gonna happen. Put it in my teeth. <laughs> start climbing down the rigging. Okay. Oscar, you come around the, the back of uh, the deck uh, superstructure and have a long range shot possible. Get him, sir! Get him! <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the long range shot. And okay. I'm going to. I believe in you, Doc. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to break out the style points. Okay. I believe I have four. So because of the rigging and, and other things, this will be at minus four. Ouch. Okay, so oh, I'm no. going to spend all of my style. Yes. This is uh, 12 dice. <laughs> okay. So, so minus four. Um, is means that I have scored a total of zero successes. <laughs> oh, you, you, you take the dice out first before you roll them. Yeah, you take the dice out. Oh, it's minus four dice. Oh well, uh, I didn't do that. I I hadn't th I hadn't thought about that. So go ahead and re-roll. It could it might wind up being better for you, but that's okay. Okay, just roll roll eight dice. Okay. Thank you. I, I the average is on, is on our side. I, I screwed up. Okay. That's better. <laughs> so on the eight dice, I got six successes. Okay, there you go. So instead of another harmless attack, we have through the rigging, down the length of the ship, and remember this is a pretty long ship, right? Pretty much of the, the maximum operational capacity of this weapon that you labored to build yourself. There is a thin scream as it vanishes through a gap in the armor under the arm. And the creature stiffens and tumbles off of the rail. Good show, sir! <laughs> We got him. It's the scope. And then, a few seconds later, there's a bone-crunching impact as it hits where the shore meets the sand. Okay. Is it dead? <laughs> I think so. From behind the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Is that more, are there? Proctor, Gamble, get down to the beach and bring that creature back up. Right away, sir. Then we can have a look to see what we've got. You said we were going to be kings in Patagonia. <laughs> no, 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 that's what you said. <laughs> All right. Well, Tanvir has had first-hand look at what the opposition is. How is he feeling about George's chances? I'll be all right. George is George. George is, George is pretty capable in this all And I mean, okay. is this assailant a bona fide reptile man, or is this another pygmy? Been too far player? away to to see. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Right now, it seems like a reptile man, and 
And as for fighting men aboard the ship, right, you've got your, your loaders and your stevedores um, who have all gone to, to their general quarters during the, uh, the battle drill. They didn't come up to the deck to say, hey, what's going on? You know, they, you know they, they're doing their duty, doing their job where they're supposed to be to repel borders uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, right now, the only fighting people on the deck would be Tanvir and, and Oscar. I go up to right up to Oscar and I slap him on the shoulder. It's a good shot, sir. I think uh, George will be okay. I mean, these are small. He's a fighting man, and uh, after all, you got him. George. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offense, sir. Uh, yeah. uh, none, none taken, I think. <laughs> right back to George and Lawrence yeah. in the jungle with the blazing eyes of hatred. So whose whose turn is it? It's Lawrence's turn technically. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wow. Well, okay. I'm not gonna headbutt her from behind because that'll probably hurt. Uh and I was just seeing seen her get headbutted and those spikes almost hit me again. So I have to let her go and punch her in the head. Or try or try to punch her. Anywhere right. on the spine. Before you do that, could I have a willpower check, please? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I have a somewhat above average willpower. <laughs> okay. That's, that's two successes. All right. Yeah, average. Yeah, average. Good. Well, so, not really. your thrill seeking nature can certainly. Uh, exert itself and you get into this, this fray and subdue her without being crippled by fear of instant death from the virulent poison, right? Um, you're a man among men, sir. Clock her in the head. All right. Well, about that. <clears throat> How bad could it be? Two successes. <laughs> Pretty bad, okay. <laughs> Pretty bad. No, you be, she's being uh, attacked from behind. It only has passive defense. You're a second opponent, this sort of thing. So, so bam, she grunts in pain uh, as uh, as your fist impacts with her with her slightly armored, you know, uh, head. So her bell has been rung, and I said she still had some fight left in her. That's more than I thought of it. Get those brass knuckles out. George. He's unable to pull free. Oh. I'm trying to knock her out, I suppose. Because, um... As the second opponent? Grappled, so, uh... As the second opponent, this time she will have a minus two die penalty. Mm. Right? So you have some advantages uh, yeah. this time. So I'll, I'll keeping her, then I'm going to try and knee her in the, in the stomach, see if I can knock the wind out of her. So another brawl attack. All right. Hopefully this will work. One, two, three, and four. Four successes. That's pretty good. All right. Not bad. I can't reduce her defense below her, you know, below her body, but uh, but you can you can choose a spot, you know, choose a better spot because of uh, her level of distraction. Mm -hmm. And so, once again, she's she's been hit pretty hard in a, in a place where people don't like to get hit. And, uh, and she's, she's sagging more uh, against uh, the light of hatred has not decreased in her eyes, but, uh, but she's gasping for air and, uh, and maybe not seeing totally clearly. Okay. Excellent. I'm off angle. Okay. Now, it'll be a whole lot easier to subdue her if you go to the ground, right? Mm. 
That's true. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna try to push her to the ground. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll grab her and pull her down okay. without without spiking myself on the, those things. No, no, no. That's I'm gonna try to kick her legs out from under. Her. That's what I'll do. Sweep the leg. With one success. <laughs> one, one success on three dice. There we go. All right. Well, <laughs> he's holding her up. You sweep oh. the leg, right? She moves to the side, kind of like wind chimes, and then comes comes swinging back. And, you know, just <laughs> kicking futilely at, at, at George, and she's, she now begins to utter, right, this, this long stream of what's probably invective. I mean, she's not like saying, hey, welcome to my jungle. Uh, would you like to come back to my uh, to my tribe and have dinner? She's she's uh, casting aspersions on your ancestry, no doubt. So but I'll, she has stopped. She has stopped struggling. So I'll slam her down on the ground and see if we can <laughs> make her stop. Please, just stop fighting. <laughs> oh, there we go. That, oh, another four successes. Four is the number. All there. right. Good. And, you know, uh, she had surrendered mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a real sense, physically, and then gets slammed into the ground and is stunned. All right. All right. Finally. Uh, I'm, cutting, I'm cutting a vine to yeah. make, make, make some kind of, you know, uh, bonds to put around her, at least her hands or your feet, you know. Yeah. Right. In her, in her belt, you can see a, a small pouch of, of twigs and, and other small pouches of things. And she's got like moss stuck in different parts of her, of her leathery uh, and, and wooden armor, like almost like a shellacked armor. Yeah. Underneath, like where the, the armor is kind of askew because of being slammed in the ground, you can see that, that uh, her face has been painted with natural pigments into like a, a dark green color. And, uh, like scales, right? So it's it's, it's a yeah, yeah, mm. very much. So. Cool. And the the blowgun, you know, tucked in her belt. Yeah, feisty little thing. Uh, We've got our first specimen to bring back. Yeah, let's tie her up and get these weapons off her. Uh, so we'll do that. Yeah. We'll proceed to. Tie her up and carefully remove the uh, weapon belt and the blowgun, and then maybe take off the the armor as well. You know, careful yeah, not to touch the pack. But I threw that off when we were chasing her, along with my no, no, my no. best ascot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. the armor. Well, that, I mean, once we have the armor off and have her restrained, uh, George can carry her easy, uh, and then uh, you know. Yes. Maybe, maybe Lawrence can carry the armor and to examine, right? So. Yeah. It doesn't seem like the armor comes off very often. You know, the the, the bonds are, are are knotted and they're they're mm. all gritty with with filth. Uh, but you know, getting it off, you can see that this is a culture that goes for some kind of tattooing. Mm. And so the the arms on um, the the inside of the arm and the outside of the arm bear different uh, imagery. And on the inside of her right arm is the image of some sort of bat winged creature, a very long beak and some kind of elongated projection out of the, the back of its head. Look at that. Hold, oh, just hold, hold on, old boy. Hmm. I think I, I put down everything. She has other tattoos of, of different creatures, types of fish, and, uh, and that sort of thing. I'm grabbing my notebook back out from where it saved me from the tree, you know, a little bit. And, and <laughs> sketches of the tattoos, sketches of the, sketches of the creatures. Well, Oscar can probably tell us what these creatures are. But... Uh... You know, reptiles. This this is a good. No, opinion. no, no. That looks that, that that looks definitely like the the projected image, or what what the animal looked like of some of those skeletons they found. And where was it? 
Arizona, I think. <laughs> oh no, so this is, this is definitely something we're after. You see that? You can only be a prehistoric creature. Yes. If she's got ta if she's got images of on, on her, then then that crazy bastard was right. We are in the right place. I think this Burke and his his team stumble across your location. Are you all right? Uh, yes, yes, uh, Burke. Uh, good, good timing. Uh, we've subdued her, but there might be more about. Be careful. They use blowguns with uh, poison darts and uh, and armor with poison on too. Look look at all the time she got me here, and somehow I managed to survive. I felt a little numb for a while. Huh. Well, uh, somehow I managed to carry through. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's excellent timing. Could I have a body roll, please? Ooh. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. But somehow I managed to survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I did get two successes. Uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I have a body. Thank God I have a body of, of three. I got two more, two more dice here to roll. I get the average. I get three successes. All right. You, sir, take a lethal wound. Ooh. Okay. All right. Lethal back on the ship, Caustic or back or at... Lethal from poison or lethal from the little spikes? Yes. Uh, now... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, I got you. Not yeah. from the spikes already. Oh, I'm feeling kind of numb. <laughs> Back at the ship, Proctor and Gamble are on the shore. And the first dramatic revel revelation that they make is, of course, that this is not a reptile mm. in humanoid form. This is a human wearing reptilian-designed armor and body paint. Okay. But this this antagonist is quite dead. <laughs> well, sorry, let's get this nasty thing back on the ship. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, Die. Can you just carry it? Uh, I'll, I'll get the legs. You just get the arms. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, do, we do that. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> so this... This uh, this combatant was maybe a, a shade over four feet tall. Uh, the hair has gone gray, and uh, you know the face is is wrinkled. The mask, you know, shattered when it hit the beach. So, uh, a wrinkled kind of older face and, and gray hair, but uh, very well muscled, a very strong individual in life. What a peculiar little man. Yes. Okay. They're able to get him back up on onto the deck, where I guess Oscar Oscar can inspect his cue. Well, just um, <clears throat> I'm intrigued in the, the the mask and the armor. Have a closer inspection. Has it got the spikes on it again? It does. Yeah. I'll point out to Proctor and Gamble. Don't touch those spikes. I'm sure they're poisoned. Oh, God. <laughs> water! I need some water! Water! I'm running over to the... <laughs> and just washing my hands as much as I can. <laughs> oh. Safety precautions. Is there Another a... Another style point for, uh, for Proctor. <laughs> is there, uh, is there uh, anything interesting on the body... Anything else? Um, tattoos and stuff like that? There's no blowgun. Uh, there's the spear. Uh, okay. uh, there is a, a flint and, uh, and chunk of, of uh, some kind of metallic rock. He's not coming back to life. That's just Dory. Dory's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> providing sound effects for the... Uh... Right. For the, yeah. for the ASMR portion of the, uh, <laughs> of the broadcast. <laughs> the, Is that the uh, at this, the same time? Carry on. 
Yeah, I just at the same time I'm being mauled by by Grace, our Doberman. She's leaning on me and, and kind of twisting me all around here. I'm trying to grab onto the table to keep from being spun around. Right. <laughs> Dog attack. But, uh, <laughs> uh, the best thing ever. Um, so this. Um, so yeah, there's no blow darts or, or any right. of that stuff, but uh, there's uh, tools for making fire. And uh, similar to the other one I described, there's a small spiked ball uh, that uh, doesn't look like it has any, you know, beneficent purpose. The uh, the metallic flint is that just um, is that for fire making or is that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So fire making tools and a little bit of of tinder, but the tinder has gotten gotten wet because hmm. he fell in the ocean. Okay. Does anybody know a, a synonym for heroic? I'm doing the right phrasing here. <laughs> as, as, as Tanvir now is taking out his 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 his, uh, his pad where he does most of his writing and his heroic, heroic. brave, bravery. Yeah, too boring. Anyhow, uh -huh. carry on. <laughs> Olympian. Uh, yes. Olympian. Yes. There we Olympian. go. Olympian. Olympian right. crossbow shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, gents, do we reconvene back at the ship? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Uh, George will have uh, Burke, you know, have the beaters around the bushes, right, to make sure there's none of none left, or to flush them out. And uh, he'll ask Burke to set up perimeter with, uh, you know, armed hunters. Uh, and maybe just trace the plank, right? And, 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 try, and, and have the ship rise up a little bit more out of reach. Right. And the captain, one of the captains recommends uh, pushing out from the, from the shore. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we can do that. It's better than having more people exposed in the jungle. So. Seems yeah. like a good plan. Yeah. All right. So what do you do with your corpses? Uh, there's only one thing to do. You got one corpse, right? One corpse. The other one is alive, right? All right. Sorry. Bye. Uh, only one thing to do. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I can see. Yeah, here's a little, little uh, what we've got, Valak acid. That's a good uh, uh, disinfectant yeah. as well. Disinfectant. Yes, that's yes, what. what it is. Uh, get, get myself all slathered up with some carbolic acid. That's exactly. Alrighty, Percy. Um, yeah, Grover won't watch this, but come here. Uh, Gro no, actually, uh, T, Grover, T, please, Earl Grey. <laughs> all on. right. So in the time, the time it takes to get back to the ship and have everyone tell their stories and get ready for your uh, inspection of the corpse, it's time for another body roll. All right. Get this gear here, the scalpels, and the syringes go over, and a little two, maybe two. Okay. Well, the last time, I believe you rolled three, didn't you? Oh, dear. That was a better roll last time. Yeah. This time you take two lethal damage. Oh, dear. Okay. All right. Well, here I am. I'm, at, I'm at actually at the, the, the one. I, I have a health of six. I'm down to one. I feel a little woozy. Woozy. I, <laughs> I think those spikes might have really been poisoned. Uh, no. No. Uh, George, I. Well, come on, we got to do this. Let's, autopsy, no, wait, just... wait, wait, sit down. We'll, we'll we'll see if we can take care of you first before we, we go. Yeah. With this. Can I um? Can I do some first aid on him? Try and help the situation. Absolutely. Is there something uh, have... that we could some tincture that we can administer to um <laughs> to com com or oil? Yeah, yeah. Combat the poison. Neutralize it a little bit. Suck the poison out, mate. Open my shirt up. I would, but I haven't. Uh, I haven't really got the. Um, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen today. <laughs> uh, and. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, Anne actually, wonders. Do they have 
they, they, they use poison? Would they, you know, she's setting up the camera, but as you're like pulling your shirt off, she's like, come on, I can't put that in the newspaper. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my pirate, they have some kind collection. of antidote? Uh, that's what I'm looking for in my, you know, do, do we have medical supplies with, uh, maybe, maybe in the, in the, in the stuff that woman had or so what well, these two, maybe they accidentally prick themselves. Sometimes I, I suppose I could analyze the, Ooh, Oh, I don't know. Well, they well, might, you, I'll, I'll rummage through the medical supplies with the, 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 I guess that's some expeditions thing that we could do to make sure we they might uh, they might have built up a, a, a tolerance to the, to the, to the yeah, they might have they might not have i mean look at look at look throughout look, I, i'm grabbing the, the stuff that she was carrying too looking for anything it looks like it might be well, you're the camera all right all we need <laughs> all right so go ahead make a a chemistry roll to see if you can identify among the items that she has all these random bits of stuff that she has right uh if anything leaps out as as uh, being an antidote while uh we make an expeditions roll to see what you know standard antidotes may have been brought along you know for snake bite or whatever i don't, I don't suppose i can synergize biology with the with the chemistry i think you totally can yeah. all, right. all right you don't have to if you don't want to if you want to roll fewer dice that's fine with oh, me, absolutely. You know, the hardcore yeah. mode <laughs> Robin has uh, Oscar has expeditions, right? So, I do. Yep. So he could uh, you, assist each other. What score do you have, George? I uh, I got a uh, rating of five. Oh, same as me. So shall I assist you on checking yeah, I guess, for the? I, uh, I had the idea to check the uh, antidote, so I guess I'll roll. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same. That thing. sounds good. I have succeeded on a on a tough. It was a tough task. I'm up to it. Cool. That's fantastic. Dog attack. <laughs> well, uh, it seems that despite our best planning, some some of the equipment may have been left behind. <laughs> we have two successes out of seven dice. So. <laughs> there's a, there's a lovely shelf space for for antidotes and anti venoms, and it's just empty. <laughs> Well, maybe they were damaged during the flight or something. I don't know. <laughs> Someone's been making homebrew and uh, added it in as an ingredient. It got knocked loose when we did that high speed maneuver against the second yeah. last week. So, yeah, right. jump However, with a reasonable amount of certainty, Lawrence thinks he might have found compounds which could be mixed together to counteract the poison or <laughs> will produce more poison a whole new kind of poison on its own <laughs> well, this well uh, why don't we uh, why don't we uh, test it on one of the well, on something like a rat Oh, come on, man. I'm dying here. <laughs> much time. Is this, do I have to drink this? What are we doing? Oh, you're going to have to mix it. Yeah, okay, I'll mix it. Absolutely. Now, you have no benchmark or comparison. Except that ridiculously high roll from hours ago to analyze the component. Mm. Okay. That's going to give you two dice of bonus right there. Okay. The woman has awakened and is watching with that look on her face of scorn and judgment, but a hint of fear. Fear has crept in. She looks at the injury, and she seems confident and smiling. But when you find these components, she has this trace of fear. But now she's sitting there smugly. She knows something you don't. Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Um, I'm allergic to all this cliche. <laughs> So is, so is Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it is it worth trying to communicate with this girl? Is there is there it's worth to try? I'm just thinking if if can, can I assist Lawrence with my medicine skill for his? For his <sighs> so I'll be busy as a busy as uh, uh, Lawrence. I, so you could try and talk, to Oscar. Yeah, see what she knows. I've got a linguistics. I do have uh, linguistics. Maybe there's like some basic way of communicating. And... Yeah. Ten A. Certainly, give it a try. Okay. It will have a it'll have a, a good difficulty to it, but success will be all the sweeter. Well, I've only uh, had so. I only have five dice to roll. Well. All right. That's what my breathing is sounding like. <laughs> exactly. Same. Exactly. So let's start with what you want to communicate to her. And we'll, we'll figure out how long a um, conversation is needed because that will be relevant to the life and death of Lauren. Okay. So, so basically, uh, I want to see if, if she has. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm going to ask her if if there's an antidote to the poison in the best way I can. Okay. All right. So this is a you know an unknown unknown language that you know Oscar you know really hasn't even heard yet, right? And uh, so we're going to give it a, a pretty steep difficulty. I'm going to give it a difficulty of three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mostly because I'm, you know, I'm a sweetheart. So you've got uh, two dice left. Well, I got two successes. That's lovely. Let's just say that it's not so much verbal communication where she says to you, oh, yes, there is an antidote, sir. Thank you for asking. It's, it's more like reading the body language and the, and the facial expression. Um, it's, a, it's a certainty, right? He's got the antidote, but can he mix it correctly? So you'll have two dice from our medically trained yeah. soldier. Two dice and then all of your various dice uh, with your biological and chemical expertise. Oh, okay. And, and... Plus the bonus from the previous roll. Okay. Really high. Yes. Oh, but, 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 uh -oh. uh, before we do this, a body, body check roll. to see if we stay above oh, zero or our affected too much by the poison. All right, kids. Oh, dear. Using these uh, leaves, uh, you know, these uh, leaves of Cthulhu, uh, triple H dice. Four successes. That's not bad. All right. All right. No damage. Please no continue damage. with your, oh. with your pursuit of the antidote. So frantically mixing, mixing things together. Now, Oscar, she seems a little bit surprised that that you care about your friend. This is amazing. This would be nearly impossible. In fact, even nearly, nearly impossible. Seven. Oh, I was going to say zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. This, this is the mother of all no, combinations. Right. This is definitely it. Got to be the one. Now, here's, here's where you get to make a fun decision. You've got a lot of extra successes. Would you prefer to mix it faster at lower quality or mix it slowly? At higher quality. 
And by the story, choice is yours. Oh, wow. <laughs> good. How, how, how much time do you think you have to do this before you start <laughs> keeling over? Before we pass out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the question would be do I think. Mm. Mm. That's, that's true. And you are a thrill seeker. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm gonna mix this fast. You're gonna mix it fast? You're gonna, gonna forego receiving style for for your brinkmanship with oh. life and death? No, no, yeah, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix this, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna mix this whole way. I'm gonna do this right. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right. All right. I, I, you I, can I, I have, have two have, styles, sir. I think, I think you recognize the, the 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 challenge of you know how how far can I push this before I you know <laughs> how good can I get this before I die? I pass yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'm going up to the blackboard, making little calculations. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the Bunsen burner out. Uh -huh. well, I got three minutes before I die, but I bet I could get some really good point, uh, antidote by then. You know? This will work better. This one, I think this will definitely work better if it's powdered. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, a body roll is the cost. Oh. Uh -oh. But you get two stuff. And you're you're down to what one health? Uh, yes. Uh oh. So I'm going to use these two style dice because living is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh one, no. One of the style dice is on the floor, but it is a success. <laughs> it is. I swear to God, it is. So now, we, now we know that Ivan is, is from the success on the floor uh, culture of play. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, you take it if it's um, yeah. If, if it if it was a, a fail, you'd say, "Well, it fell on the floor." I said, "Well, it fell on the floor." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that is three successes. Three successes. Yeah. So you're lowered to zero. zero. Oh, but I have I have not yet begun to take penalties, right? That's right. Not yet. But at zero, you are exhausted. Lawrence, you're looking very pale. You need to lie down. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Oh, come on, man. It's it's almost good enough. Come on. You, you can... <laughs> Am I drinking this, injecting it? What's going on? I'd like you to make a willpower roll to power through. Right. I've never seen such bravery. <laughs> Percy, Percy is rising down yeah. on the. <laughs> do, 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 you, do you get style for complete BS? Is this... <laughs> another floor guy. Another oh yeah, I did, I did, but I, but it says, but this is three. Three, three. success. Three. All right. So still awake. Yes, you have to drink uh, this very pulpy uh, mixture. Oh, right. Based on your huge success <laughs> before, <laughs> you, know, you know the correct <laughs> now. Yeah, the taste, not great. I'm trying to make another body roll to stay alive. Stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth two stop points right there, my friend. Thank you for that. <laughs> is, right. is, is he crying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't write that Percy Percy scratches that out. <laughs> don't write that. <laughs> don't write that. And your yeah. your prisoner is nodding her head with Tastes a worse. stoic expression on her face. Tastes worse than the food from Wales. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know either. It just sounds like a British thing. <laughs> All right. So, I'm not, no comment from me. It's like haggis. <laughs> oh, I like a bit of haggis. Very yeah, nice. haggis is good. Lawrence is beginning to convulse. Oh, no. And sweat. Okay. But in the good way. Okay. So we'll try to hold him down and, you know, put the uh, right. thing in his mouth so he doesn't bite his tongue and, you know. Put his put, pencil in there. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. And in a short period of time, uh, the, the poison will be neutralized. And what? with some conscientious medical care, you could begin to recover. So uh, while while that's happening, can I question the the the, the native? Uh, you can you can give it a try. I'd like to try and find out why they attacked the ship. That's that's my angle. So what what tools would you like to to use to bring into this mostly pantomime? So, uh, communication. so what I'm going to do is I, I, I grab, you know, there's going to be buckets of sand for fire control on oh, the yeah, ship. Yeah. Grab a bucket of sand, I'll tip it on the floor in front of her, and I start scratching in, like, the shape of the ship, and then, like, a stick figure with a spear and and kind of, you know, just try yeah. to say, why, why are you attacking us? Okay. Right. Let's give it a try. Linguistics. This time, uh, rather than uh, give you a, a die penalty, we'll just re we'll just represent it with difficulty. The difficulty will be two. She'll understand, but will we understand what she says back? Okay. Well, as I as I ask, as I ask the question, I'll give her the stick that I've used to draw in the sand. So. Hopefully she might be able to draw some shapes and symbols back. Which, which eye would you like to keep? <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've got glasses on, I'm fine. Oh. Okay. Um I got three successes. That of my mind right. You get the feeling that she definitely understands your query. Um and then she takes the stick that you hand to her. I, I guess you're uh, untying one of her hands. Yeah, I'm a scientist. I'm so, not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Um, yeah. You know, hopefully she doesn't realize I killed her friend. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'll untie it one hand. And um, yeah, I call Alpha and Beta over just to keep an eye on things. <laughs> she begins to write in what looks like some type of cuneiform. Right. So revealing that she is literate in, in a language, but it's a language which makes no sense to, to you who view it. Uh, but you will be able to copy it down and work on it and possibly, possibly decipher it. This is fascinating. Look at the, look at these pictograms. Ah, uh, yes. I get my notepad out and start copying it all down. Grover, could you give me something to get this taste out of my mouth? <laughs> Tea. <laughs> of course, Grover is already there, already bending over to uh, you. supply you with the with the needed fluids and solids. But um, what can be immediately gleaned from uh, what she scratches into the dirt um, is a group of figures with a worshipful worshipful posture and overhead. Uh, a shape which is not unlike the tattoo on her arm, but then she she gives up with the with the drawing and, and just starts to write. You know, and, uh... Sorry, what was the tattoo again? It's uh, it's a pterodactyl thing. It's uh, the, the, uh. The, the, so uh, George will ask uh, Oscar, do you recognize this? Uh... Uh, this flying, this winged thing, is, is, is this a bird? Is this a, a dinosaur? What, what, what manner of creature is this? Uh, I mean, I, I'm assuming we don't have general, you know, dinosaur knowledge way back then. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, 
I mean, I don't know whether he would have that kind of knowledge. I mean, I guess it's... Well, like... let's, let's not stress about it. Let's use intelligence. Okay. You've spent weeks hanging around with Challenger and, and uh, at his estate, so you may have been exposed to all sorts of, of uh, unusual theories, but what, what stuck and what made sense? Blank. I have no idea what this is. Remember, it's double your intelligence. Oh, okay. Here's another three then. <laughs> That's a wounded laugh. Oh, okay. There's there's what we're looking for. Okay. Three successes. It seems to be some some large uh, flying creature. Uh, I'm guessing. Perhaps something that is not known to science. And I sit up and go, what? Unknown well, to science, man. Well, you have biology, right? So maybe maybe you have some knowledge of, of dinosaurs, right? Perhaps. Let's find out. I mean, we, 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 we were expecting to find uh, creatures that are prehistoric in nature. Uh, certainly, th this is unknown to anything that I've, I've seen. So based on its, on its imagery and you know, your basic understanding of, of, uh, of life as we know it and your scientific background and, and the like, it could be speculated that if there were a flying prehistoric creature like this, it would have to be quite large and would be a very impressive find. Even <laughs> if just its skeletal remains were brought back intact, this would be a very impressive specimen in the front hall of, well, any society. But uh, to be able to bring this and present it uh, to Challenger would go a long way to restoring his his reputation. But if if such a creature is real, then finding it and capturing it would be essential. Okay. <clears throat> now, from deeper into the ship, you can hear what at first sounds like a, a faint cry but then you know, quickly becomes louder and more terrified. And it's not a voice you recognize at first. It's not a voice you recognize at first uh, because this person is, is uh, uh, your new acquaintance, Sinjin Smythe. But when the pieces click together, uh, you realize that from uh, the guest quarters that he has been put in to recover and recuperate, um, he is crying out in terror as though in the grip of, uh, of some great fear or dream. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's, let's go see what's, what's wrong with his wife. Yes. <laughs> Can't hear you, Ivan. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Your mic's gone. Your mic's gone, yeah. The computer flash a while ago, so I guess we lost. It's a giant hand. It reminds me of that Star Trek episode. So <laughs> now's our chance to get um, get our opinion in on um, Ivan. Who <laughs> <laughs> warns for Adonai? Yeah. <laughs> why he, but, why he can't so, defend himself? <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you want to go with them to talk to Sinjin Smythe. I think he's frozen. Oh, now he's frozen and gone. I can't even do that. All right, so, um, you know, moving through the corridors, right, through the through the different bulkheads and, and down level. Uh, welcome back. Twice the Ivan for twice the fun. Say something. That's right. Excellent. Hey. You're going with them or not? Uh, yeah, uh, no. Well, I'm just... I think we drank all the... You need to get a beverage. Go. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, I mean the antidote. 
Oh, I see. All right, so in Sinjin Smythe's stateroom, right, his his uh, his bedclothes are all askew. They're all twisted up in his legs, like he's been thrashing for quite some time. He's he's soaked in sweat, completely disheveled. It's it's uh, embarrassing and, and totally inappropriate for a gentleman. Uh, he must be mortified that you've you've come into the room to to check on him. But he does seem to be in a delirious state. Mm. You know, he's, he's, he's gripping uh, the, the brass rail at the, at the edge of uh, the outer edge of the bed, you know, and his feet are, are slamming into the, the, the wall because you know, the bunk is a, a little bit shorter than it, it needs to be. His head is up against the other wall, the, the pillow soaked with sweat behind him, and words are tumbling out of his mouth. His eyes are rolling. He doesn't seem to, to be in his right mind. And he's talking about, right, the river of the gods. The river of the gods. The white rock teeth of the king. Through the gorge, across the lake, under the waters, into the caverns of the mother. And he just keeps repeating, repeating imagery like this, right? Sometimes with a detail about under the fiery eye, go. I can see you a lot. I, I should make, try to make some more antidote. This man knows a lot. Yeah, calm down, Smythe. Uh, everything is everything is okay. You're safe here. A stiff upper lip, man. Well, this is a very strange and vexing uh, condition that he has. It must be de uh, delusional due to uh, the, the the effects of the poison. He sits bolt upright, and he grabs at at Oscar, you know, clawing at his, at, at his clothes and, and at his face to get to get a grip. He tries to pull him tries to pull him closer. He'd be easy to evade if you choose. I'll just sort of grab him as he shakes me. Right. Yeah. And, you know, to, to, to support him, he, he's, he's on fire. His skin is hot to the touch. And he says, if you value your life, don't. And then he dies. <sighs> Um. And the curtain closes on another episode of The Sky is No Limit. <laughs> Smile nice. is always, always doing that to us. Uh, he, say something, and then the, it, the episode is over. Every time he dies, the episode ends, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fully expect him to be fine the next one. He'll be, he'll be, like, he'll be like Kenny. It's like, oh, that's my bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, they killed Smythe. <laughs> that's fantastic. I think this could be cur definite curtains for Smythe now, though. <laughs> I don't think there's well, any... Well, stay tuned next week for another exciting episode. <laughs> All right, so you guys get experience. You get one point for showing up. Ooh. Because you showed up. And that's how that works. One for showing up. Excellent. Anything else? It's. Uh... Would you say that you were in danger? Yes. I was. I think we all were. I mean, we yeah. were not bad. They had weapons. They were, you know, they were about to poison all of us because. Well, oh, Lawrence got with poisoned. Spikes. Uh, <laughs> so it was large. actually good. Yeah, but we were all in danger, right? We're just lucky. I yeah. nearly, I nearly hey. got, I nearly got speared to death. True. Aren't you a bit of a danger magnet anyway? Different people have ideas about nearly. <laughs> <laughs> potentially, potentially. There's, there was potential, yeah. <laughs> Even if I tripped up and fell on it, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Now, have what kind of plans are you starting to put together now 
um, for your characters. This is, uh, we're, th we're talking about the learning point here. Oh. What is starting to come together for you as these characters? In terms of the character or like general knowledge of stuff that we learned today? Because we learned quite oh, a bit. Either. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, okay. So, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, I, I like the whole kind of trying to uh, communicate with the, with the, the, uh, the, the, the native. And that was quite, that was something new. That was something new for my character. Yeah. So, I think I'd quite like to learn that language, actually. Yeah. Or build a language translating machine. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that now that's what, now you're talking, that can, <laughs> that can focus on the shapes that are, and, and, and gives us a, a, a translation. That would be cool. That would be cool, especially if that works. I, I, we're on the right track. That's absolutely solidified in, in Gar Garibaldi's mind. We are on the right track. We've got people that clearly know that these creatures exist, and they don't want us to find them. They're scared about that. So I think also right in the right track. If we find those people, we find that we find the creatures. Yeah, that's the thing because we we now have uh, evidence of 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 at least one creature which is this uh, flying pterodactyl type animal mm -hmm. so that would be a prize worth you know risking our lives for i'd say oh absolutely well that goes without saying but they but they know we're coming so that means that they, they this is not their first rodeo so something i don't know what you have in britain this is not their first cricket match <laughs> polo, polo match. Yeah. It's not that first polo. It's not that first I think. Polo match. I think it's. I think it'll be first. Um, it'll be not our first tennis match. I think. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so but whatever then, kind of match, it, it's, it's not, not the match. first one. Yeah, and we know they they worship this flying dinosaur thing. They attack the airship because they think it might be a rival god. Uh, which was really interesting. The, the, you know, they, they, yeah. they, the elder took the opportunity to attack the uh, the ship. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, the, the, we have the the gibberish from uh, from Smythe, which might just be gibberish or might be actual information, because he did speak to the survivors from the original expedition, so he might. That uh, gibberish he spewed about the uh, white rock teeth, the river of the gods, go through the gorge into the caverns of the mother and under the fiery eye might be hallucinations or they might actually be secondhand information from That's the original true. expedition. So I think it's, it's it almost might like, be useful. It might. It might be. It, nothing, sound, it sounds a bit like maybe some kind of map. It was kind of a rudimentary a, yeah. a, a map to follow. We just have to yeah. interpret what he's saying as, as into into geographical yeah. things. And having that read we can enough see. tales as 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 a, as a lad and as a, as a as a young man in his twenties beforehand, before he turned the ripe old age of thirty or whatever the hell he is, <laughs> and Lawrence Lawrence is thinking to himself, "Well, one of the, one of what we have to do is we have to befriend this tribe because there's other people coming." And it's always in your best interest to have the natives think that the other people are your enemy, especially if you're in a race. <laughs> true. That nice. is true. All right, gentlemen. So that to, to recap, uh, you've earned the automatic point uh, through absolutely no work of your own other than showing up. The danger hard, point. Right? Early here. <laughs> the danger point is is my gift to you. Uh, so. By putting you in danger, I have enabled you to earn this experience point. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You are portraying your characters very, very solidly and and keeping them on point and especially handling all the troop style uh, requirements. So we have a taste of Tanvir Singh and, and the interplay of Procter and & Gamble and, and the poor long-suffering Grover and, and 
uh, so this, this is this is working. So tonight I'm going to hand out the the role playing point to let, let you know you guys are on track. Um, we just went through your deliberations. This is uh, what I like to call the learning point or whatever. It's officially the the wisdom point. Whenever you uncover or put together critical information, well, you're definitely on the right uh, track in that regard. So that one goes out as well. So it's a pretty uh, juicy experience point burst for this session, which is marked by a lot of success. So, uh, so I think especially that's... considering how close you were to death. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, by the way, now that you know, I've, I've, there were four the four lethal wounds from the poison. Do I get to deduct those? No. Oh, what happens? No. 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 You get to keep them. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I okay. Don't. Just, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just did not continue to die. Okay. Great. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you're not. You're not continuing to die. Yeah, nice you're try. Just... <laughs> yeah, so I'll put those down in my life. Lawrence Garibaldi, two style for next session and zero health. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I went to Brazil health. and all I got was these stinking lethal wounds. One non lethal and five lethal. So well, I have um, zero style for next time. So uh, I have zero style as well. <laughs> um, so, so I think that was so that's four experience points in total. I think. Yeah. yeah. Two, yeah. three, four points. Yes. Yeah. And uh, oh, oh, that brings me up to that brings me up to ten. I'm on oh, eleven. Cool. I've got eleven. So I don't pray. Well, Cause it's because it's because Ivan spent a point. Trying. I spent yeah. I spent uh, I spent a couple points uh, on on. Uh, getting um getting a skill up what it was it what a performance yeah that's gotcha. it yeah, yeah. all right it. so gentlemen when we meet again we will uh see uh <laughs> if <laughs> if uh cinch and smythe is really dead <laughs> let's hope let's hope so <laughs> And I'm expecting to sit up in a chair like like Captain Pike, just being able to say one one yes or one for yes and one for no. Right, the, red, the red and the green buttons, which of course, which of course, Alpha and Beta will come back and always tell you the wrong response. Oh, he said yes. <laughs> nice. It'll be a long pause as they try and figure out which one to switch. Is it red or green? Yeah, because they have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks very much for waking Thank up you. early. Yes. And thanks very much for, for hosting, Robin. It's a lot of fun. I've uh, really been enjoying uh, cracking out Leagues of Adventure as Leagues of, of Adventure. I haven't done that for a long time. So. Yeah, thank you very much for your uh, running the game, uh, Anthony, and, and thanks to, to uh, Eloy and Ivan for joining us. And we'll see you next time for the next edition of The Sky is No Limit. And uh, we'll see you. Hopefully, it'll be next week. Can't promise because you know things get in the way, but we'll be back as soon as we can and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, I'm gonna. Bye.